What's up you freaking weirdos, it's your boy Kid Crayon and well done for logging in to youtube.com I know there's not that much on here so I thought why not make some content for you guys when you check out this new website <laughs> Today we're going to create our own cereal box. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, you know, create my own toys that go inside it, actually put the cereal in, and create my own badass cereal brand. The first thing I need to do is take a cereal box that already exists and create my own template. By creating my own template, I'm able to work out the exact paper size I'm going to print this at. The next step is photographing this, taking this into Procreate, and then drawing around this already functioning cereal box. <laughs> yeah, boy. And this is what I'm left with. I looked online and there are a lot of different templates for these boxes but it's not very helpful because it doesn't tell you what size to print them at. So if you checked out this video because you wanted to create your own box as well, I'm going to leave the template in the description below and you print this out A2, it will create a standard 500 gram cereal box. You're welcome. Onto the template, ideas will chop and change as I go through but it's good to just have a starting point. This is one of the biggest pros of digital, you can keep tweaking and changing until you're happy with the artwork you're creating. With a little help from my Instagram followers, we came up with the name Fat Cap Sugar Snacks. <laughs> Don't know where that came from, but as you saw, I just did a photo shoot with an actual cereal bowl and an actual spoon. This is quite common on cereal boxes, so I wanted to include this on my own design. After that, it was just following my rough design, making everything neater, slicker, with this 90s kind of aesthetic and feel. Whew. So it all finished with the design. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. The next thing to do is to send it to a print company. I usually use Mixam. They're really great if you're in the EU. Um, I've used them for like loads of years for all my zine printing and other weird products. Um, and yeah, they're reliable and they have a very fast turnaround. They aren't actually sponsoring me. Um, I'm just plugging them because I think they're great. You're the best mix, Sam. Several days later. Sweet, so my cereal box designs have finally come in the post. It only took five days, which is a crazy fast turnaround if you ask me. Um, let me quickly show you what they look like. So a bit glossy, so I don't think it's going to be too great in the light, but here are the templates. Yeah, next I'm going to cut this out and put the box together, and then we'll have our final product. Several minutes later. So here's the first look at my cereal box. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't have any cereal in it. So what I'm going to do, instead of making it, because that's going to take too long, I'm going to go and buy 50 different boxes of an unknown brand and uh, pass them off as my own. Nothing wrong with that. So I've got my mate Dave to come and help me raid the Asta and clear it of all of its frosted flakes. I hope they've got enough today because I actually need 50 boxes. This is it. So basically you're going to get all of those. <laughs> How many is that? Not enough. We're going to have to go to another house, don't we? Let's do it. Okay, we're in the second supermarket now. Let's see how many they have. Here comes a fastball. Think fast. This one's busted, but we just need the cereal inside, so it doesn't matter too much. Team work. Let's go. So we're still short like six boxes, but this is a good start. Should have bought the van, Dave. What were you thinking? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Did it. Smashed it. Oh my god, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I didn't want to go too in depth on this, but basically I created these two POG designs and I sent them to a company called CustomPogs.com and they kind of took care of the rest. It was just a waiting game on my end. The POGs came out great. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but the custom POG company that printed them did such an awesome job. And look, check out how good this cereal box looks. It's amazing. It's nice to kind of have a final product that's got the cereal inside, it's got the toy that took like a month to get here. These pogs are only going to be available in the cereal box, so you get two of these in the box and a sticker. 
So I'm going to be selling the bulk of these on March the 4th at my show, but I'm going to release a few of them online. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be selling these to people based in the UK because it's quite a ball ache to try and send them abroad. I will, however, be releasing a printable version that won't come with the pogs, won't come with the serial, and obviously won't come signed and numbered on a new website. I know you just got used to YouTube, but there's another one called Patreon. Now I've got, I don't want to brag, one Patreon. You know who you are, Sam Little. And you can also join this amazing list of one person whose name is Sam Little, thank you. Which will scroll down the screen. You know, you see other YouTubers have got it. I've got one. So yeah, you can join him in my next video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to release this template um, on March the 4th. So if you want to print out your own mini version of this, it will only be available to my patrons. Hint, 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 hint. Before we jump into some super sexy shots of the final results, I just want to say big thanks to everyone that tuned in to today's video. If you're living in Bristol, don't forget to put the 4th of March in your calendar because that's going to be where my solo show is and all of the work that I've been doing over the past 6 months will be in this show. Anyway, let's finish with some super sexy shots and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ka-pow!